morning guys and I have to share this video. You are going to be absolutely fascinated by this fly on the wall video of the day that Elvis Presley passed and the fan footage, the public reaction that you will see in this video is fascinating and the things you'll see are absolutely stunning. I hope you enjoy. So it starts off showing the queues of people queuing around the road, but I'm not sure if this is Elvis Presley Boulevard. But the thing I like about this particular video is just the way that it makes you feel as if you are there on the day that Elvis Presley died. And you can just, by listening to the chattering in the background, you can sense the shock and the sadness. And it goes on, there'll be a few interviews. I'm just gonna comment on and off through this video. It's that poor man it looks devastated whilst reading the headlines of Elvis's death. So upsetting. Let's just keep watching. Why have you come here today? We wanted to see Elvis uh, for the last time as a, uh, as a final remembrance of him. He was just becoming popular when my wife and I were teenagers in high school. So we just wanted to stop and see him. We were in uh, Nashville yesterday at the Hall of Fame Museum when we heard about his death. So we decided as we were traveling back home, we'd stop here at, uh, and see him in Memphis. All right, thank you. See the nurse. And the nurse here and the elder woman, they just look surprised and in shock and dazed. Okay, here we go. What's your name? My name is Rebecca Hayden. I'm from here in Memphis. Rebecca, why is it so important to come out here on a hot day and stand in line? There are more pleasant things to do. Uh, what, tell me about it. Well, personal reasons. Number one, I think I've been in love with Elvis Presley since I was 14. And I used to sit and calculate uh, if he was too old for me or not. And besides that, I think uh, Elvis had more impact on our society than any other, any other popular musician, except perhaps the Beatles. And the Beatles were English, not American. And uh, I think that's why. And she stops turns away in silence and puts her umbrella up. And lovely words that she says. Ask Ron if he wants to introduce him to Tupelo. Yeah. Like what station are y'all ABC. ABC. WHBQ, I think, is the local station here. And you can hear the interviewers in the background getting ready to do interviews. This bit's quite touching, where you see this young boy, he's probably only about 10 or 11, giving away the newspapers with the headlines of Elvis Presley's passing. And look there, even a very small baby. There's so many, thousands and thousands of people that have just turned up to pay their respects. And you can see it's a very hot day. Let's keep listening. Uh, I'm wondering if you can tell me uh, why it was so important for you to come here today. Well, I don't know Elvis personally, but I've seen a lot of his shows and I feel like he's a friend to me. And when one of your friends dies, you go to his wake. And I just thought it was the thing to do. We left this morning at 10 o'clock out of Chicago and got down here. And uh, we'll stay here and hope to view the casket. Such honest words from this man, and his wife is completely silent. 
He's right though. He wants to go and see his friends. Cascade. Closed up. Where's he from? Atlanta. Some guy just interviewed him. He gave him about a 50 minute interview of every rec go record and ever put out and everything. Yeah. You don't get me in there. My girlfriend is seeing my foot at home. <laughs> he's right down there. He's in a brown shirt like this. Except it's solid. It's got little little tan stripes. Go interview him, man. He's damn good. Is that in there under the umbrella? No, he's looking further down. All right. All right. I'm going to play. I have it. That's okay. I'll... Would you Everybody get your wife over here? I guess she's your wife. Yeah. Why? Uh, why is it so important for you to come here? Because he was my idol. I liked the way he sang and followed his career for years. And we used to go see a lot of his shows. And I just wanted to come and pay my respects. And would you walk out here a little bit to me? Into the sun? <laughs> Why, uh, you were saying earlier about your feelings about getting in, not getting in. Mm -hmm. Well, even if I can't get in, at least I, I was here and I think he might know that, you know, everybody cared for him. I don't, I don't know. And that's that. important? Yes, it's important. What? He was a great human being. And he's going to be missed by everybody. I know he will. I don't know what else to say. Well, you just, you were a... Thank you. That's, good. Man. That's very good. Thank you very much. And you can really feel the heat here just by watching this video. It's extremely hot and many have traveled for hours to get here and also been waiting for hours and hours. And I'm pretty sure they're all queuing and waiting to get into Graceland to view the casket. Look how hot it is with the newspapers on their head. And there's more interviews to come. And you have all different ages and, and different types of people, all generations, all just waiting to pay their respects to Elvis Presley. And I know that if I lived near Memphis, I definitely would have made that journey to Memphis. Hey, man. Here we are. Sorry. Okay. Tell me what you do and what you've done today and why you've come here. Well, I'm Ronnie Bickley from Atlanta. I'm a veterinarian there. I have a quite active small animal practice and I canceled appointments for two days when I heard of Elvis's death to come up here and pay my respects. I uh, consider Elvis a part of my life from childhood through my teen years and my adult life and I feel a part of it's gone now. I'm, I feel a great loss. I see you here with your suitcase. Uh, it's difficult for, for many of us to understand the loss that those in line say they feel. Tell me a bit more about it. Well, all my life I've loved music. But everything that I hear, every new artist that comes out, I've always compared to Elvis Presley. I haven't heard one yet that could come close. I feel like he is to the 50s what it took a dozen different people in the 60s to be to that group. And he will never ever be replaced by anybody. Good. Thank you, Ron. Good talking with you. Thank you. I don't think you can put it better than that. Such honest words from the heart, from a very sad person, just stood in the crowd with the thousands of people mourning in shock, just waiting. You can see the ambulance here in the background going into Graceland. Let's keep watching. And it's amazing to think that over 50 years later that we are all still in shock and still mourning the passing of Elvis Presley and that 
he is still so massively popular around the world, in every country, all ages. It literally blows my mind that this man has had this amount of effect and significance on all us Elvis fans, wherever we are. And you see the lady stroking her friend's face because of the heat exhaustion, where they've been waiting for hours and hours in these very warm temperatures to get to see Elvis Presley. sense how everyone feels. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks a lot, everyone.